Welcome back. In this video, let's learn two simple tips for working with images. Let's start with tip number one. Here in Figma, I have a very simple website for planning your next holiday. A search bar to search a city or country and a few thumbnails for countries that are popular right now. On each of the images, we have the text that represents the country. As you might have already guessed, we have a problem with accessibility. Although South Africa and Greece is easier to read, both Japan and Iceland are very difficult to distinguish from the background. One solution, of course, is to have the text outside the image. But a lot of the times, you will come across situations where the UI looks good if the text overlays the image. For example, it could be a gallery view where the focus is on images with short supporting text and you don't want the text to take up additional space. In such scenarios, a very simple fix is to add an overlay that contrasts with the text. Now if the overlay has the same dimensions as the image, the image visibility is compromised. Naturally, we are going to come to the conclusion that the overlay height can be reduced to contrast only the text. And this looks fine, but the best solution here is to use a gradient that starts at the bottom and fades out to the top. In this final version, you can see we have a gradient overlay that provides sufficient contrast to the text while ensuring the image is also visible to the best extent. And the fading makes it look very natural. From a development point of view, you can create a div tag with absolute position that takes up half the height of the image and the background property is set to a linear gradient. Please feel free to increase the opacity to increase the contrast ratio. Here is the before and here is the after. Let's now proceed to tip number two. This one's useful when you're working with avatars. I'm back here at our conference website from the previous video where we now see the speakers page from a user's point of view. We have a list of eight speakers, their avatars, names and their topic for the conference. Although it looks great already, there is room for a very small improvement. At the moment, you can see that for some of the images, it is quite hard to distinguish from the background. If the avatar has a contrasting color, it is no problem. But with Clark Kent, John Smith and Ray Palmer especially, it is almost impossible to identify where the avatar ends. To fix this, all you have to do is add an inset shadow to the image. And here's the same view with an inset shadow for every avatar. You can already see we are able to distinguish the image background from the website background. Here's one where we have zoomed in on just Ray Palmer. The design on the right hand side is much better than the design on the left hand side. Here is the inner shadow CSS that you can apply to the image element. As you can see, it's a pretty small change, but a great improvement from a UI UX point of view. So those are my two tips for working with images. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.